All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, I am super excited because it is a topic that I'm super geek about, which is being productive and planning your day for ultimate efficiency. Now, I get this question from a lot of my students and readers and subscribers, which is, Lux, how do you stay so productive in medical school or if I'm a pre-med, how do I uh, structure my day to become as efficient as possible without becoming overwhelmed with everything that's tossed at me? And I get it. But what I want you to understand is I'm not an anomaly, right? Like I, people act like I'm the only one that can do many things and kind of have control over my day. I know you guys can too, if you just understand the, the, the proper habits that you need to do to structure your day um, to reach ultimate productivity. So I was gonna make a video where I give you the spiel and give you the tips, but I recently did make the video where I show you my own schedule on my Google Calendar and how I structure it. And I did it for my video course for the pre-meds that I've been making, uh, which I'll link down below. But instead of making a whole another video, I thought I'd just give you a sneak peek of that video. So understand that it is uh, in the context of the course, but I think that regardless if you're a pre-med or if you are in med school, I think that the video will be super helpful to help you understand how I structure my day, how I recommend anyone structure their day. Uh, and you're going to be able to not only have time to study, but you're gonna have time for you. And I think that's really what everyone's kind of wants have, wants to have time for. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you did, I mean, obviously check out the course down below if you are a pre-med, but otherwise use the tips from this video to help you become more productive. No more babbling, let's get to the intro and then you will see me on the other side of my computer talking from the course. What is going on guys? This is going to be the first video in how to be productive as a pre-med. This is the second time I'm recording this video, so let's fingers crossed that we get it right on the first or the second try now. Um, but the first video is going to be kind of how to create your foundation. What principles do you need to know in terms of um, being productive and scheduling your day? Um, that way, the rest of the principles that I give you throughout this course are going to be effective. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back to when I was a college student, how I would structure my day. And then I'm going to fast forward to today and I'm going to show you kind of what my day looks like. And they're pretty similar. So that means I use the same principles I use as a college student, even now as a medical student, to do a lot um, and do a lot of different activities without being overwhelmed. So I use Google Calendar because it's very versatile and it's also very portable. I can put it on my laptop and then have it on my phone. If you guys want to have a physical calendar, that's totally fine. I still recommend doing it on the Google Calendar because you could do a lot. You know, it's a lot quicker too, but whatever you prefer. But Essentially, what you should do is let me let me go to the month first and show you there. The first thing you should do is open up your month on your calendar or your you know your planner and add in everything that you know is going to be there. So those things include like important deadlines. So this is when I was you know uh, getting close to start studying for the MCAT. So when I needed to register for the MCAT, all your phys uh, your exams. So I have some tests here as well as important meetings, doctor's appointments, things that you just can't miss out on. Uh, or you don't want to be late on. So put those into your monthly calendar. You know, at the start of the semester, what I like to do is I pulled out my syllabi for each class, you know, uh, for each of my classes. And I would just quickly add in all the quizzes and all the tests. That way I would know uh, physics exam here. And then, you know, I, as I'm going to go over in the study section, but I would start structuring my reviews the week before very strategically because I knew the exam would be next Friday. Um, so put these in your monthly and then go to your weekly. <coughs> I know this looks a little bit overwhelming, but uh, it actually has a very clear structure to it. And it's actually the biggest um, trick that I use to stay as productive as I am. So the first thing is similar to your monthly, add in all your required things that are repetitive on a weekly basis. So like your classes are a great example. You know what time your classes are going to be uh, generally. So you're just going to add them at the time slots that they occur. And then Google Calendar is great. That's why I love it is that you can go in. And if you know you have a class on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the whole week from 9.30 to 11, you can just replicate the process to where it shows up weekly. And that way you don't have to make it every single day or every single week. You can just say weekly on Tuesdays and Thursdays until the end of the semester. So that's that. Um, add in all your classes. Um, and then the next step is to add in other kind of weekly recurrent uh, activities. So if you're in organizations and you have meetings, um, you know, those are things that you definitely want to add. Um, so I had a meeting down here pretty late. 
So this way I would block off those times and make sure I wasn't trying to be productive, you know, going to another uh, important uh, activity. These times were blocked off for me and I didn't study or anything there in those slots. So add your classes, add your meetings, um, and then add in on the weekly basis, add in anything important, for example, something that just may come up. So again, since I was applying for medical school, uh, my school was doing a personal statement workshop. So I went there between one and two, or I knew it was coming up. So I added it at the start of the week to this time slot to make sure I didn't do anything else during that time. Um, the rest of the time is what I like to call your repetitive structure time. So, <clears throat> excuse me guys. This is the time of the week where you know you want to work during those hours, but you may not exactly have a task just yet. So for example, I know on Wednesdays I wanted to work during these time slots. And so I would just call these my work time. And during you know this week, I didn't specifically assign myself a task during that time. But for example, on Sundays, this was also my work time. But what I did is before the Sunday, I replaced this work time with specific tasks that I wanted to do and what hours I wanted to spend doing them. That way I knew, you know, okay, you have physics homework that you need to work on on Sunday morning. So wake up at six and get ready to start your physics homework from seven to 8.30. I gave myself a time slot and we're, we're gonna go over these principles later, but where I had to work and be efficient during these periods because I knew at 8.30 I needed to move and start working on something else. So this kept me efficient. I always knew kind of what the end was versus like working on this forever and then realizing I still have homework for other classes. Um, so use your work time and then when the week comes or when you're planning it, replace them with specific activities that you want to work during those time slots. Um, that way you know a start and finish. So I've got my work time. I've added, you know, other homeworks. You know, I was studying for my MCATs. I also made this my work time slot right here. And I made the whole block just for the MCAT, nothing else. And then the final thing is to kind of add in your, um, I guess this comes before your work time, is you want to put your repetitive, like, personal sanity things. Um, and you can see that I kind of call them personal sanity here. Uh, is that things like working out, spending time with friends, a TV show, like, those are totally fine for you to have in your schedule. Just make sure that they're blocked off. Um, that way you don't schedule yourself to study during that time. And also if you're spending like eight hours on a Monday watching TV, then that's probably not personal sanity time. It's also very visual and I like that. So I knew I wanted to work out on, you know, Thursday evenings and, um, I'll fast forward to, um, uh, when I'm a med student right now, you can see kind of how I schedule my workout time. So this is guys a great structure because then all the time slots that are open for me to do other things, I can add an extra work time. I can add in, you know, a fun activity. If I say yes to a dinner with a friend, I'll block it off here and make sure I don't schedule myself to study. Um, so this is kind of how I would structure my day. So every day I knew what time I needed to wake up, what time I needed to start. You know, I could sleep in on a Monday, not so much on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Um, so creating the structure is huge. Now let me fast forward to today or this coming week. And I kind of already scheduled my uh, next week. So I'm going to kind of show you now what I do as a med student. And again, it's not that different. I have repetitive tasks. So I'm on an anesthesia rotation. And these are the hours I usually show up um, to uh, be in the OR. And then I have other tasks. So for example, um, doing the MD journey. And currently, since I'm um, still making videos for the course that you guys are watching, I have it structured and I wake up at ridiculous times. Most of you guys know that. And so I wake up and I do a lot of these video contents in the morning. Um, and then, you know, I do YouTube videos aside from the uh, course. So I have a specific time of the week. I like to do those. Um, other things that I like to do for the blog is you know, obviously creating my content, writing the blog, um, post. And so this kind of tells you like, there's a lot of hours spent in it. It can be really overwhelming and I could easily quit, but I have structured times in my medical school life where I do them and I'm not like, you know, studying for other medical school stuff then, um, similar, you know, my workouts are scheduled. I know what times of the, the days uh, on different, you know, what times of the days throughout the week I'll be working out. So I don't structure anything during these time slots. Um, and that way it's great, you know, for me to make sure I get my workout, get my fitness in uh, without impeding on medical school stuff. Um, and then other things that, you know, I'll add. So like my sanity time, I uh, go to church every Sunday or every other Sunday, depending on what week it is. So I make sure I block that time. That way I'm not booking myself for anything else. And then this coming week is huge because I have a board exam on Friday. So um, I'm going to add specific work times that I want to make sure I'm reviewing for it so I don't fail. 
Um, so you can see, see, can see that like my, my schedule isn't that different than when I was a pre-med. Different things are there, but I'm doing you know repetitive tasks, um, personal sanity tasks, and then I'm adding in time blocks. So that way, if I wanted to do something next Thursday or next Saturday evening, I have time to do it if you know everything else looks correct. So this is my basis on how I recommend you guys go ahead and schedule your day, schedule your months, um, schedule your hours, because you're going to be much more productive. You know what's going to come. You know what you have to do. Uh, it's not as overwhelming. You know, the calendar may look overwhelming, but each day you have a plan of attack. You know, from 9 to 10, I'm doing this. From 10 to 12, I'm doing this. I'm taking a break and then get back to work at 2 o'clock. Um, being this productive really has its benefits. So I hope these videos help you out. Um, but if you guys have any questions, put it on the Facebook group. I'm happy to answer them, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, friends. All right, guys, so I hope that this video was helpful. Even if you don't plan your day the way that I do or the month or the week, I hope that you're gonna take at least one or two nuggets from the video and try to apply them into your own schedule and seeing how they help you. Um, and I'm really interested in understanding how you guys stay productive. So comment down below um, and let me know what tips that you have um, for me as well as the people rest, uh, in the community on how you stay productive because I'm not perfect. I'm still looking to get better. So I'd love to hear y'all's tips. And as you know, people that comment and subscribe to the channel are always eligible to get um, some of my paid resources for free, um, which include my books and my video course. But if you did enjoy the video and you are a pre-med, I do recommend that you check out um, the video course um, and I'll link that down below. And there'll be many um, helpful videos that uh, my students currently have been enjoying just like this one. So um, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. Um, comment down below again with all your productivity tips. Subscribe to the channel and keep helping the community grow and you will see more videos just like this one. And uh, no more babbling as I always do at the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.